Welcome. So what I want to do uh, today is show you how to be able to determine uh, the smallest positive and negative coterminal angles for 15 pi over 4. Now we look at the 15 pi over 4 and we're like, whoa, that's a pretty big angle, right? So remember, when we're talking about coterminal angles, coterminal angles are angles that are going to have the exact same initial and terminal side. So a lot of times what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you a graph representation of 15 pi over 4. Now remember, halfway around a circle is pi. But what I like to do is I like to take the denominator and rewrite that as 4 pi over 4. So if I have my angle here would be 4 pi over 4. Then if I go a whole revolution, that's going to be 2 pi, which I can represent as 8 pi over 4. Because remember, 8 divided by 4 is 2 pi. So then if I continue this uh, process, I'll have 12 pi over 4. And then um, if I break up this into fours, 12 pi, I'll have 13 pi over 4, 13, 14, and 15 pi over 4. So I have an angle that has all these revolutions, right? But I need to find an angle that has the same initial side here and then terminal side here. So what we like to do when we're looking at this is we add or subtract 2 pi, or at least a revolution. Now remember, we're determining revolution as 8 pi over 4. So if I take this and I subtract a revolution, right? you can see now I just have one single angle. So how are we going to represent this algebraically? Well, by taking 15 pi over 4, and if I subtract one revolution, which is the same thing as subtracting 2 pi, if instead of subtracting 2 pi, though, let's rewrite this as 8 pi over 4 because my denominator is 4. So 8 pi over 4, now I can subtract this and I get 7 pi over 4. So that is that angle, 7 pi over 4. However, now let's go ahead and what about um, if I subtract 2 pi again? right? Because now this is going to be the smallest positive angle that's going to still have the same initial and terminal side. However, there's another angle that we can get is what about if we just went, that marker doesn't work. Oh, yes. What about if we just went in the negative direction? So instead of going in the positive, right, counterclockwise is positive, what about if we just drew an angle in the negative direction? Well, remember what I have here is 7 pi over 4, right? And really, this last distance is just going to be pi force, right? The distance of this 7 pi over 4 to get to here is just going to be pi over 4. So what I can do then is if I just take uh, 7 pi over 4 and then minus, again, 2 pi. Again, then what I'll have is a negative pi over 4. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, those are going to be your smallest positive and negative coterminal angles. So in this case, what I had to do to find my two coterminal angles is I had to subtract. Because if I kept on adding 2 pi, I would just keep on getting larger and larger positive angles. So I had to subtract 2 pi as we represented it as 8 pi over 4 twice. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine your coterminal angles. Thanks.